everyone welcome back to our channel my name is Mara and in today's video I'm going to be showing you something different normally we would post cleaning videos but I have done what's in my Louis Vuitton before and it was a hit so I decided why not do it again and in this time I'm going to be switching from my winter purse to my summer purse so they're both graceful MMs they're just different colors this is uh, one of my favorite purses um, so let's get right into the video and see what's in my bag. So I'm just going to be unboxing my summer one. So this is my, uh, I would say spring, summer, up until the fall purse. So that is my Louis Vuitton. So for all of you that don't know, that was my uh, birthday present from hubby. That's what I got as a gift. So this is what the bag looks like. It's empty right now. There's nothing inside. And then the inside is pink. So very, very beautiful. And then for my current purse right now, so my winter one, it's just the brown one. And the inside is like a fuchsia. So look at all that mess inside my purse. I'm gonna be showing you guys what's in there. So currently, the way the purse looks inside, this is the way it looks. So what I have is I ended up getting one of these pouches um, to keep my stuff in here, which I will show you what's in here. And um, pretty much, my i use my michael kors wallet i really like this wallet just mail that i have to mail and in the back there isn't pretty much just garbage here so that's what it looks like inside so very simple very spacious i'm gonna end up closing the zipper there you go and then it comes with the tag here which you can engrave two letters if you want I haven't gone back to do that. And then this is the top part of it, which sits perfectly on your shoulder. So yeah, that is it. So that goes into this box after. So in here, I haven't gotten the matching one. I should order um, one for this bag, but I haven't. So I'm gonna just probably use this one now until I do purchase one that matches my bag. So first off, I'm going to put my wallet back in here. And then this is garbage here. So in here, let's see what I have in here. So in my bag, I have gum. I, have, I do carry some extra perfume. You can never go wrong with an extra charger. And then this is my work pass, which I use on a day-to-day -day basis. I have some Tylenol, hand sanitizer. So this is uh, from Sweather, um, sorry, Bath and Body Works. And it's called Sweather Weather. And it's a kind of a mousse, which really smells really, really good. So all you gotta do is just put it on your hand and then it disappears. And it smells like the candle. I have here is some lip balm from NYX. So these are the two colors that I use. Uh, this one is called Creme Brulee, which is beautiful. It's like a pinky on the lips. And then I have this one that is called Fortune Cookie. This is more kind of like a nude brown. So not bad. So these are the only two that I use. And then here I have um, Bluetooth earpieces. These are my pills that I have as well. I do carry a brush, um, more gum. So this is uh, a pineapple flavor. I really love pineapple. And then I have extra earbuds that comes with the phone. The ones that I currently use, but the strings do get so 
annoying and it gets stuck everywhere. So I've got the wireless. Um, I have this liquid matte Huda, Huda Beauty. This is in the color Mousse. So this is a matte lip stain and it stays on all day. And then this I got as a free gift from Sephora. It says it's from Bite. So if I want to put that Huda, I can always outline my lips with that. And what else do I have in here? I have pens, a tweezer, and then I think I have like, I carry a mask with me due to COVID. And then just here are some bills that I carry with me. And then if my lips are chapped, I do carry the Burt's B, which is, um, it's a natural 100%, has vitamin E and it's peppermint. So I have that and just some personal stuff in here. So I'm just gonna put this all back in here. Trying to organize, it's hard. So how many of you have seen this uh, sanitizer from Bath & Body Works? I should have gotten more. Um, I think these were new for the winter or the fall that came out, but I haven't seen them ever since. So I don't know if it's just a fall thing. So let me know in the comments below if you have seen them at Bath & Body Works and if you do have them and if you like them. Putting back my pens in here. So this is a pretty good pouch. It keeps everything in here tidy and neat. So if you see, there is a lot of space in there. I'm just mad at myself that I didn't get one to match this purse. So I'm just gonna use this one for now. In here, I know it's not gonna match, but um, it does keep my things together and I don't like it when it just goes all over in the purse. So I'm just gonna put this in here for now. It does get pretty heavy. And then that is my purse. So switching from my winter one to my, to my, I would say spring and summer purse. It is really nice and light. Um, question you guys probably would have is why would I get the same purse but in different colors? And the reason why is just because I enjoy this purse and I like it. It's very spacious and this arm here, like once you put it on your shoulder, it is very secure and it stays. So yeah, so that's what the purse looks like. Um, I know it's very, very light and I've had this one for, a, I would say a year and a half. This one, the dark one I just got for Christmas. So that was my Christmas gift from hubby. And yes, they are very expensive. So I have told them, please don't buy me anymore because just one was good enough. And um, I don't know, he felt like I needed the one for the winter just because I was always putting this one away after the fall and he's like well I need to get you another one for the winter just because I'm scared if it gets dirtied and it's white and since this one is dark it's a lot better to get away I guess if I spill something on it versus this one now I had a question in my first video that I did uh, post with this bag was the wear and tear of the bag now I'm very careful with my stuff. I do not just place my bag on the floor. It is actually bad luck in my religion to do that. Um, so I always put it on top of either my desk at work um, or I lock it up in my drawer if I have to go out for lunch. Now, when I come home, it's always either on my couch, sometimes I'll put it on my bed or sometimes I'll put it on my, um, what do you call this? My dressers, sorry, <laughs> lost the words. And it is never really being touched besides me or unless hubby needs to go in here for something. But um, I would say it is actually very good, the wear and tear. Um, it's very light inside. Um, it's gonna get dirty, that is for sure. But actually anything breaking or anything like that, I would say no. They are expensive, but they are worth the money. I wouldn't say like go out and buy like five of them at once, but I think these are regular price, 2000 a piece plus taxes. 
um, or $19.99, something like that. But it is $2,000. Um, then taxes on top. They do have more expensive ones. They have different styles, but um, this one it's easy. And if I do go out with my toddler, I can just put in her bottle, her water bottle in here. And if I have to put like a package of wipes, um, she is potty trained, so I don't need to carry diapers. Um, even if it's like a little tiny little blanket, there is a lot of room in here. And that's what I love about this purse. And that's why I have the same purse, but in two different colors. Um, sometimes people have, like different styles. I'm a very simple girl. Um, I was actually shocked when hubby got me this because I wouldn't think he would pick something out like this. And this is just beautiful. And I love it. And that is my Michael Kors purses that I have. I only own two. Um, I don't think I will get any more in the future unless something really, really catches my eye. And yes, they are very expensive, so um, I don't need too many of them because, like I said, I can only wear one at a time. So the other ones would just be sitting in the closet. And what the sales associate told my husband was that if you keep them in the box, it's bad because then they will start to crack because they have no way to breathe in the box. Now, I currently do have them in the boxes. Um, he told me that I need to display them, but currently I don't have anything to display them right now, nor do I have the space but maybe that's something in the future that I will consider. But they do say that if you do have Louis Vuittons, please do not keep them in the boxes because they will start to dry up and then they will crack. This one's been in there since I would say November. It's been in the box. As you can see, I did remove it from the box and it's pretty good. It hasn't cracked or anything, but um, I guess not knowing that I will probably keep an eye on them a bit more or maybe take them out for a I would say a week or so and then put them back in the box but if you could display them because they are so expensive and you do pay so much for them it would be nice if they can be displayed because then again you know it's something that you are proud of that you do own an actual Louis Vuitton I don't know why they're so expensive because I guess because of their name but I would think they would be cheaper like Michael Kors is affordable affordable sorry um I do own two of them that was actually my first present my christmas present from hubby was um a black michael kors purse with uh, the wallet which i love the wallet and i still use now those are affordable but louis vuitton it's kind of hard unless you really make good money then you can afford them but if you do save as well your money you know you can afford one it, they are expensive but in the long run it's something to be proud of right and then this is the Michael Kors wallet that hubby gave me. I've had this wallet for about six years now. Um, the wear and tear, perfect condition. I mean, like I said, I do take good care of my stuff. Um, I'm not going to show you exactly what cards I have in here, but I'll give you kind of a glimpse. It does have like the pockets here, has the same pockets on the side. You can put money in the back there. It also has the pocket here as well. And then, of course, the middle for your change. Now, all I pretty much do is open it for my cards. I don't really carry cash on me, as you can see. It's all tap and go. And then I just close it back up. And I would say for six years, this is worth the money. So if you're looking into buying good brands and you can't afford the Michael Kors, then I would, I mean, sorry, the Louis Vuitton, then I would say go with Michael Kors. They are very, very good as well. And I would say that is all for my video. So I'm just going to show you um, the way I pack it in the box. I know, like I said in the beginning, it isn't the greatest thing to do uh, from what the sales associate said, but right now I do keep them in the box and I do keep them in my closet. So let me go ahead and show you how I put it back in the box. And then I will be taking out this baby back in the winter, which I really love the color as well. So I'm just going to be showing you how I would put the Louis back in their bag and then in their box. So I have the same bag, but as you notice, there is two different boxes. This one's a thinner one, and then that one is a bigger one. I don't know, I guess depending on the sales associate, you get the box depending on what they have on hand. So I'm just going to make sure that my purse is not just put in the bag in any sort of way, but it is put back neatly. This is the bag that it comes with. 
all of you know that Louis Vuitton always brings uh, their bags in a bag like this so you can store it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by putting it in this way. Make sure that everything is inside the bag. it up. Now I guess I know why because this box is a little bit smaller so the bag has to actually kind of bend. Actually I don't think I'm going to do that because I don't really want to bend the box. So what I'm going to do is keep this box aside I think I'm actually going to use the box that I have here that's a little bit taller so I don't really have to bend I find that I would need to bend the purse and then I don't want it to crack so I'm going to use this box that I have here which I'm going to keep the bag for the summer one in here and like that all I got to do is put the bag in here and then the bottom can just stay up and I don't feel like I have to um, really bend this, which that box would make me do. So I'm going to do that, put it back in the box, and that's it. So just to save room in my closet, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go put my purse back in this big box here that I have. And then just to save space, because I don't have a walk-in closet like some people do. Um, mine is just a pretty simple closet. I'm just gonna close this bag down. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in here, in the bigger box. So like I said, same purse, different colors, two different bag sizes, two different box sizes. I'm gonna grab this one that has my winter one and I'm also going to put it in here so that's how big this bag is it's pretty spacious and then so there so this is what it looks like two different bags two different boxes same purse I don't know why this one I find really small that I would have to bend my purse, which I don't want to because I don't want it to crack. So I'm just going to keep it in this box. And then what I do is I just put this in my closet and that's it. And that's how I store my purse. I would love to display it someday, but at the moment, that's how I have it. And um, so let me know in the comments below what you think. Do you own a Louis Vuitton? Um, what do you think of their prices, their purses, their quality is the best i will tell you that much uh but let me know down below so yeah let me know what you guys thought of this video do you like these type of videos i mean i don't have a lot of purses that i can be doing videos on a day-to-day -day basis but i can start doing them fall and spring because that's when i do switch my purses around and if you guys do have any extra questions that you might think of, let me know in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And we would love for you to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And that's all for today. Like we always say, we will see you in the next video. Take care and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Bye.